<clears throat> hey, beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome back to another Warframe stream. You guys know it's Friday. It's stream day. We are currently here. What we're going to be doing? More Zaku because this was a requested stream or you guys did request to go and make a build for Zaku. Mainly because the fact that he's got a pretty awesome skin. I don't know what I think about but it doesn't look too bad but I've definitely gone and seen a lot worse frames out there. So ladies and gentlemen, before we continue on with the stream any further, if you guys like to, you know, support me or the channel any further, do remember to leave a like on the stream, it does help me out substantially. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams. We are also in a Discord server, so if you guys like to go and interact with me outside of YouTube or doing any, wait, any one of my live streams, there will be a link in the pinned, wait, in the chat section, I have pinned it there. You guys can't go and miss it, I'm currently there now. Go and join the stream. This is the place to go and be. What are you guys waiting for? Go and join the server. Without further ado, let's get this, what was it, stream on the road, shall we? Just want to pull up the chat real quick. I'm just waiting for everything to load up. But yeah, it's Friday. We also have our Coke and our whiskey glass. So we're just going to like take a sip. Man. Okay, I got the chat open. I'm just waiting for this. Oh, yeah, sound. Yes, I forgot about sound. You put like 24, 25%. Let me know if the sound could be better. Let me take a look myself. Because usually when I ask, no one tells me anything. Like when it's like last minute, the sound nice. could be better. Let me know if the sound could be better. Yeah, the sound's perfectly fine. There we go. All right. All right. Fashion frame. I'm not going to do fashion frame on the stream because I don't know about you guys, but you might find that boring. And the last thing I want to do is bore you guys to death. I was like, the animation. You just push. Might just do it all day. So satisfying. So I've heard some good things when it comes to Zaku, who's pretty powerful, apparently. Oh yeah, let's go and add a catalyst or reactor just to double up our mod capacity. Gonna have to go and farm some plats soon as well. Cause me, I'm becoming a broke boy. Oh, it's already upgraded. Oh, okay, no complaints. So what are we dealing with? A dash plate, that's already a good sign. We can either strip the enemy's armor or reduce their armor, or we can have continuous energy regeneration. Either way, they're both phenomenal. Okay, let's do this as well. I'll do one more thing. The strip the enemies There we go. Okay, so we're going to go with a Vitality Prime the Flow.
How do you spell guardian? Oh, there it is. Alright, there we go. An overall general build so we can figure out how he actually does go and work. I saw that, what's her name? Varuna got a buff on her 4, which is nice to hear. Apparently it like hits harder now. So let me know if you guys want me to make a revisited video for you guys. If not, I'll still, if I don't get a response, I'll still like, you know, make a community post. Let me know if you want to actually go and do a, be like a poll. I don't know about you guys, but I quite like those polls. Hey, if I wish D would do one thing, just one thing, and please just release a way, a much more efficient way to go and rank up our frames. Like, oh, Hydron. Ugh. I absolutely hate Hydron with the living passion. I mean, look at this. All four of us come to this one party. We're still waiting for one guy to ready up. <laughs> And how inefficient it is. And 90% of the time, no one actually goes and brings Saren. Hydron can be efficient, but one person has to go and bring Saren or a nuke, nuke of some form. But 100% of the time, or 99.9% of the time, no one does. Like this. Look, Varuna, Neja, Oberon. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly. I uh, take that star. I like how, I like the velocity. Though. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to take off my Sobek. You have a lot of range here. You sit there and you wait like a whole five seconds just for the next wave to go and spawn. It's like my dog. Too energetic for no reason. And then we probably got Stalker on us as well. And like he's gonna be hard. It's like four of us here. Acid shells are so good on the Sobek, oh my words. Phenomenal. So, Grasp, grasp of Lock. So, we got first two abilities. Might as well read them, I've got all this time in the world. So. His passive, 25% damage reduction on AoE attacks and chance to avoid incoming weapon damage. Okay, that's pretty good. AoE can be quite devastating, especially in the endgame. Okay, next is wield void damage for all attacks from equipped weapons, then activate. So wield void damage for... Okay, so basically enhance all my weapons with void damage. I guess that's good. Void tendrils. Steal weapons from enemy nearby to use them as your own floating auto targeting or armament damage output increases based on enemy level. The number of weapons grabbed also determines the damage multiplier for the last. Then he's. Okay, that's very good. I think that's his killer once. Cycle through a trio of lost warframe powers. Accuse manifest of void fissure to corrupt enemies into allies. Gaze grasps. Targets in void tendrils and capture release Denny and what annihilate with a beam of void energy wiping sentinel resistances. Oh yeah, let me just do a bit of moving around. Zata's whisper. 
Well, I still don't understand. Temporary shed the outer pieces of Zatku in a destructive blast, then stalk the battlefield in new, swifter skeletal form. Enemies damaged by the body sharpen are rendered weaker to avoid damage. Zatku's other abilities activate during a, a duration is frozen in time and resumes once the vast untime expires. Okay. I guess that's what he does. So if I can just find enemies, I can just jack their weapons and turn right against them. It's always good to have. Ooh, that was nice. Like 4,000 XP. I'm not going to say no to that. Imagine having a Warframe that grants you and your teammates more affinity. That'd be useful. <laughs> That'd be very useful for everyday Warframe. Like you go there with like a Saren. You come here with like a Saren. And that Warframe that gives you like a free affinity booster. And you just, just decimate the entire area. That'd be great actually. Oh so that's how it works. Then we'll just automate some. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Come on, I want them to shoot him. Move and strike. We have to win this. So far I'm liking his number two. So good. Kill him! Hey, when you get people like this, they just can't make up their mind. Keep fighting. Another opportunity or like do like a decide a late outcome. I can't wait to see what Elden Ring has in store. The... Because they came out with a new PvP DLC, which is cool. But I'm not a PvP guy, I like PvE. Well, Elden Ring. The thing I hate about PvP games in general, there's always a meta. Except for Elden Ring though. I think, I'm pretty sure anyone can do well with any loadout, if you're skilled enough. Because even the PvP takes skill. The thing I like about PvE is I can use whatever I want. See, I like to watch anime. A lot of anime. I prefer anime over like sitcoms. And, um, so obviously, you know, the PvE allows me to, like, basically envision myself or make a loadout or a build for that's anime-related. Love it so much. And I think I prefer anime over sitcoms, mainly because, you know, sitcoms are boring. Like, you know what's gonna happen. They can't really do much. It's always, like, it's always like drama this or friends do this. Like, okay, the only sitcom I've seen is Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory. Very good. Finished it all. I loved it. But other than that, I couldn't find anything else that was just as good. I'm sure there are ones out there, but... You know, knowing that there's anime out there... See, with anime, there's a story behind it. You know, you get more attached to characters on an anime series than 
some series, some normal series or real life series. Like, I finished Black Clover a while ago. And I'm busy re-watching it again. Because I couldn't find something to watch. I really did struggle with all that. Only rank 11. What is name is that? Man, I'm not complaining more XP. Attack us and we will counter. I like how they just get disintegrated. I should be the careful there. Almost level 14. But let me know if you want to do a budget build. Hello brother, the king told me that you are streaming. Hey Peter, how are you? Hope you're doing well my brother. Thanks for joining the stream, appreciate it. How are you doing today my brother? Man. That always gets the big guys spawning. Of course, we are also going to jump into steel pot with Grendel. So we get like an idea of how so I think because what we're gonna do is we'll probably go and max out Grendel mod him a little bit figure out like what's you know what's his meta build and then just make a you know build for him play with him a little bit and of course you know my spare time I'll definitely go and make the build and once he's ready make the video Peter, what's wrong, brother? I didn't hear you. You're not responding. Are you okay? How are you? As far as I know, you want to use probably is number two and number four. I'm fine, thanks for the question. Now I'm watching you. Now I'm watching how you play in a few minutes. I'll come and play Warframe. Okay, no problem. Just let me know when you want to play. Okay, so as far as I know, we have to use... Okay, so Zata's Whisper, as far as I know, 
it buffs your overall attacks from your weapons when it's been activated and then grass buff lock it activates these tendrils and you can just go and steal their enemies armor and i'm thinking the most power strength you guys have you can actually have more turrets at one single one so you want to probably mod for strength range the duration based hmm I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to go with an overall build, maybe. Because I don't want to... Yes, all... Yes, all okay. I'm glad, Peter. I'm glad. I'm going to have to figure this out. Because a lot of my builds, what I like to do is... I like to do research to see, like, what's the meta, what are people modding him for, how powerful it is so I can get an understanding of how he works, and then just go and start playing with him. Of course, you know... You guys know me, I like to make builds outside of the meta because, you know, DE, the moment that some method becomes super popular and abused, it just gets changed or nerfed to the ground. And imagine like spending, like Chroma, I'll never forget. On my normal Chroma, I've got like 6 or 7 Chroma on him. And that's because of the fact that I wanted a min-max build for Chroma. Because back in the day, the Chroma that we have now is not as strong as the Chroma we had back then. You see, back then... The way that his damage used to work was A, you'd have self-damage, right. What would happen is you'd then take yourself the claim, throw it at your feet, damage yourself to your health. The more damage you can do to your health, the more, you know, damage you can have overall. But here's the biggest change. It's multiplicative. It was multiplicative. Meaning that it, and it would take on to consideration your mods. Wait, it'll, it'll only take, it'll only buff your mods, or sorry, buff yourself. After you put on the mods, not before. Now it's additive damage to the only base, you know, boost your base stats. Our position has been compromised. So it won't be as high. And it's additive, not multiplicative. So keep that in mind. But it's not the biggest problem for Chroma, mainly because of the fact that. Mainly because of the fact that, you know, self damage is going to be making a return. It's still on the prototype, but I estimate it'll probably come out in Deviri. I recommend that the... What was it? The build? Not the build. Self-damage will be making a return at Devirium Para... Devirium. Devirium Paradox. The Deviri Paradox. Shoot! I like this thing. It's like that was... Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Now I see that I can toggle between abilities. No. Hey, legendary, how are you? You are alive. Sorry? Yeah, I'm live. How are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah. Yeah, how's school been? I'm really busy. So busy. Say that again? I'm really busy. Oh, I see. You guys don't have holiday? Uh, no. It's, it's coming. But after that, it's a midterm test. How many days you guys get off? About, like, two weeks. Is that it? Just two weeks? Yeah. December, right? That's insane. That's too little. Yeah, and after that, midterm test. <laughs> oh no! Already? Yes! <laughs> Man, I'll be honest with you, I hate school. I hate school. <laughs> Yo. But hey, you must do well though. Get, at least secure yourself like a good future. And, um... On about this time, on the next year, I have to go and like go find university. Uh, wait, how many universities? Five. And uh, I'm I'm in I'm in high school now. Yeah, but wait. Yeah. And about this time, about 
about this time on the next year, I have to buy the university. Eesh. Ouch. University is a lot more relaxed, I feel. I feel like it's just high school that's like the absolute insane one. Because they like force you to do all these stupid rules and regulations. No, yet. Especially yeah. they care about the uniform as well. At least with high school, it's more relaxed, you know. Girlfriend, first car, driver's license. Okay, I know about the girlfriend part. <laughs> but I mean, driver's license. I remember. Because I only got my driver's license. When did I get my driver's license? I think two years ago is when I got my driver's license. Because me, I love driving cars. Me, I love driving. Well, not here in December though. Because here in South Africa, everyone's like drinking during the day. And they're just retarded. So they can't, they're not using their brain cells. Yeah, especially in the area I stay, because I stay in the high income area. So a lot of these people have like these fancy cars, the money, insurance. And their logic is because they've got insurance, they must use it. That's why they drive like, you know, a bunch of... I don't know what word to use, but I don't like the way they drive. Like I've almost had people hit me just from the car park. Just in the parking lot. Like, who does that? Oh. That's crazy. Yeah. And why I think they're dumb is because the... Um, what was it? Even if you do claim your insurance, your monthly money is going to go... Your monthly installment is just going to go up. I cannot find anybody in this match. Where are these enemies at? Uh, yeah, and uh, about it, Sahu. For me, it, like I drop uh, the efficiency and give everything soon. because it really need uh, duration and strain and range. For what warframe? So, Zaku. Oh, Zaku. So you put like, you sacrificed efficiency. Yes. It yeah. Doesn't have to. Yeah, because you used his number two as his damage, right? When he like steals those weapons. It can be, but in like steel part, uh, you have to use his three, his third ability. What does his three do? Uh. I don't. I can't remember which one. It, it have to be the cycle. Uh, on another one thing is like capture the enemies and it gonna have a circle and enemy that in the circle have uh, reduce the armor. Oh, okay. Not bad about that. Because the one Warframe I enjoy, I'm enjoying a lot, is Grendel. I've got this really nasty build for him. What you do, because you just got a rework as well. Now, what I did was, I took his third ability out with Helmut, right? And I replaced it with Roar from Rhino. Now, his third ability, it's another Exalted based one, right? But, I was pretty useless to me because... You know, you can't really do much to it. You can only just go and rag all the enemies, which is fun to watch, but it doesn't kill them. You know? It doesn't kill them. I mean, you can go kill the enemy as well, but you have to, like, get out of that state and then do it. So... And then what I do now is, I use this one to store the enemies in my stomach, and then I use this two to... for a couple things, actually. So let's say I've been damaged. I have an Archon mod that gives me more power strength if I heal myself. That's what his 2 does. And on top of that, all the enemies that shoot at me will be hit with 10 stacks of Viral, like a group of enemies, depending on how much range I have. And then the 4 just spits the enemies out with a Toxin Projectile. Now, what I would usually do is 
doing the video, I went and put on the Archon mod that gives you more Toxin. That says that if you hit an enemy with a Toxin proc, you'll then go and apply a Corrosive Stays effect onto them. Which you know I thought would always strip the armor, but that's not the case. His 4 will always strip enemy armor, always. Whether you've got the mod or not. And then a viewer uh, was bugging me about, says that no, it's already... Um, you don't need the Archon mod because, you know, the ability already gets... The ability already strips the enemy's armor with or without the mod. So then I just wrote there, I understand and all that. And I fixed it and I said that just put on normal continuity. And then somebody else said, no, it's not that bad because, you know, it's not a mistake though. Because you can then go and proc a corrosive proc onto the enemies. An extra element to proc onto the enemies so you can hit them with condition overload for your melee weapon. Oh. That's good. Yeah, but I mean, you know, uh, if people want to... I'm glad that some people at least up for me. I'm glad about that. Like, if you're watching, thank you. If anybody's watching who said that, you stood up for me there in the comment section. I appreciate it. Because the enemies... Because this build will shred level 300 enemies. Easy. And on top of that, because your armor strip a group of them, you know the Sobek... The Sobek shotgun, the grenier shotgun. Yeah. I've got acid shells on there. So... If the enemies don't get killed by the toxin proc or the initial hit, I can just shoot them and acid shells will take care of the groups of them. Like it's insanely powerful. Because the nice thing with the 10 stacks of viral is it also boosts the damage of the, to the initial toxic hit or the projectile hit. And of course this rhino is raw as well onto it so it's just going to give me even more damage. Like it's really strong and he's so tanky the only thing you have to worry about is oh, excuse me the only thing you have to worry about is survivability because even though with arcane guardian and grace and rage and everything else that makes him tanky because you can stop to five enemies onto your uh, belly and for every enemy that you store You'll then be given 250 base armor for five enemies. So five times 250 is 1,250. Combining that will give you like around with other things. The Guardian will give you around 3,000 armor, which is a lot. It's a lot. It's a ton of armor. But you still have to worry about dying because it's just those Xmas units. You know the ones that punch the ground and hit you with blast. Yeah. Oh, that's. I hate nice. those. Very annoying. Very annoying. Because Very the AI is pretty good as well. But the problem with Grendel is you always have to make sure that there's enemies in your stomach. Right. But now the problem with that ability is you're always staying in one's location for like at least three or four seconds. And every time I was always doing that, you know, sucking the enemy in, he'd always stay stationary. And every time I attempt that ability, he would always hit me with that ground punch. That was so annoying. It's like the AI adapted to me. To my playstyle. But yeah, 100 minutes in the steel pot survival and Grendel. Like I do plan on like, you know, trying it again this streak because I really enjoyed him. I really enjoyed Grendel. That's a good Warframe. But it's nice when they do like a nice rework for a frame always terrible. It's always nice. So the thickest Archon in Warframe. Oh yes, we've got a nuke in the squad for once. Must be my lucky day. 
How many views do we have? Oh damn, six people are watching. Nice. That is so nice. Yeah, I just wish I could have better equipment as well. Because the problem with this camera, right, is... See, I only get time to go and stream at like night time. Because of this frequent power outages or this load shitting nonsense. Because right now it's bad. It's stage 6, meaning that we're going to get 8 to 12 hours of power outages per day. So half the day we're just going to have no power. And sometimes I'll only have... You see, I'm busy with something else on a personal project during the day. Which I will reveal to you guys at some point. I really want to get this personal project done. It's something I'm really passionate about, but I'm struggling to get sorted. As I am quite a novice in it. I don't want to like talk about too much detail because you know I've learned to keep things a secret while they're trying to get in, in the early stages then once you know it's gonna happen then you'll have less conveniences but during the day I don't really have time to play Warframe mainly because you know I've got things to do with the family I've got my personal project I've got other things to do. I'm a very busy individual that and also making videos as well so it all depends on my day. That and also, like for instance, Alien Isolation, right? I want to get back to playing the game. But at the same time, I don't want to stay stray too far away from Warframe. Because, you know, Warframe is my main game. You, know, you guys subscribe to me for Warframe. And I'm going to deliver. Of course, you know, I'll do my best to make some great content. Add like some animations, some... Try to increase my graphics, my graphic settings. So I see here that the video settings is not the best. And I'm trying to figure out why. The stream is also delayed as well. Which is a massive inconvenience as well. Let me see what this video will look, what the stream looks like at 720p. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Even at 720p. But hey, I feel like, I feel like it all boils down to like quality. Like I want to get myself like a mic, but those mics are expensive. And never mind the mic cameras, I've, you know, you paid an arm and a leg for it. But I'm not worried about something like that. Like my father always says, small things. You know, things will, things will be all right in the future. Just be positive and, you know, keep working. We've got a Saren as well. Oh, please. I hope we're gonna stay. I love Haku. <laughs> Who's Haku? Is that a new Warframe? But hey, it's Friday. Let's not be sad. Let's be happy because it's Friday. It's December and it's Christmas this year. I hope everyone gets the presents they want. Like, I'm just happy to be here. You know, my present is... I was kind of hoping to get to 2,000 subs before the year ended. But, you know, DE didn't deliver enough content. So, that's where all my views come from. But it's all good though, we'll oh, get there. Almost though. Sorry? 1,700 1, is... Like, I will consider what I've learned from this skirmish. It's near 2,000. Yeah. Because you should have seen it. When... What was that la What was the last major content we had? Veilbreaker. That, yo. I gained so many subscribers and views from that. Which I'm grateful yeah. for. 
I think I got like a video that's got like 20,000 views. Zaku, yes, frame. <laughs> of course, I know you're talking about Peter. I knew you exactly you're talking about. <laughs> but I was gonna say, is Haku like. Is Haku. Haku. Is. Yeah, Haku like Zaku's um, twin evil brother or evil twin brother? Or is that just gonna be his alternative ego? Or is that Zaku Prime? I can't wait for Varuna Prime, guys. I can't wait to see how she's gonna be. Varuna Prime. Varuna Prime's gonna be sick. Varuna Prime. Okay, so we're level 24. Although, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of automated Warframes. It's just a very boring way of playing Warframe. I like to be very interactful with my Warframe. Boom, boom. After Grendel, we would get Zaku Prime. Is that a fact? Is that true though? After Grendel. When's Grendel Prime coming out? I can't wait to be the golden thick boy. Ooh, thick boy Prime. That's going to be sick. I can't wait. When About next year. <laughs> next when? Grendel Prime when? Baru I don't know which far, Wisp, Hildren. Year. Okay, so according to uh, Ashley, it's going to be Baruch. Baruch Prime was confirmed. Baruch Prime is going to be coming out next week, the 15th of December. So we're going to have Baruch Prime. After that, it's going to be Wisp Prime, then Hilden Prime, then Gauss Prime, and then Grendel Prime, and then Zaku. Yo, we still got a long way to, <laughs> to uh, Grendel Prime. And I'm gonna One farm from for three months. So like, say that again. Three Thanks, months, Ashley. Three months. Yeah, it's one farm per three months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is true. I forgot about that. Ashley, thank you so much for the clarification. I don't really pay too much attention with primes, so I like to. I like the e surprising me with what prime comes out. I can't wait to see like what will Hildren Prime and Gauss Prime look like. And what rework will Gas Prime get? What Prime detailing? Like I hope we can like make uh, make him even faster. Cause remember that uh, remember that video legendary with, with Gas. Yeah. How how fast he was? How fast I pushed him? I'm not gonna lie, that was really difficult to push him that far. It was really difficult. Cause you know I had like. Many too many, way too many. Like I need to do this, kill these people, block this many times. It was insane. I had to block way, I had to do like backflip funny, Extraction aim funny, Unless you, can you know, look backwards, Keep wipe Another the grenier's ass. You know, do so many things just to just to get that many buffs. And the hardest part was just to remember everything. And in order. Yeah, in order, even worse. Like I had to write everything down. Hey, but I don't know. It was hard. That was a difficult day, though. But it was worth it, though, because I. I think that video to this day has got around two to three thousand views. So I'm happy. And that post is short. All I know, Grendel and Gas are fast. Wait, Grendel? How's Grendel fast? How is the thick boy fast? Like Is there a way to make the Oh yeah with his rolling ball, yes. If you sprint with his rolling ball with his three, then he's relatively fast. 
What's up with this lag? Seriously, the game is broken again. I can't go into my five. I can't even aim. Can I not use any abilities? Oh my god. We get how many skins and we can't get this stuff fixed. It's network lag. This. I can't even shoot my gun. I can just walk around. It's fine. We've got new kids here, so I'm not going to do anything. Uh, I mean, we've got a Mirage. We've got a Frost. And we've got a Saren. Just three nukers overall. I'm pretty confident that the Frost is a... Is a format one. Grendel, though. I'm going to try and make a speed Grendel build. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to find out how you make Grendel super fast. Because imagine this ball just like rolling so fast. It's going to be amazing. I just wish that you could take Volt's speed and put it onto Grendel. That would be cool. That would be insanely good. If you could just take, like imagine how fast you would be running. Like you'd run so fast you'd probably break the game. Space, time and everything. What level is he? Level 28. That damage. And how does that still hit me if I'm down here? Okay, thank God for the health orbs. Come on guys, kill him. Guys, I got this, homies. Oh, only level 28. Still got two levels. I hope we can get all 30 levels before this ends. Watch the game just like screw me. Can this work? No. No, what's happening? Forge slash unstuck. Let me reset myself. Does this work? Even that doesn't work. I mean, I would die, but if I do that, then, you know, I would lose XP. And we don't want that. Come on. Come on, Team Nuka. I can't aim my gun. I'm stuck. Okay, we're level 29. See, oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be very close. Come on. Damn, we picked it 8 constant views. That is sick. That is really damn good. Imagine we got a Warframe that we could go past 30 levels. Like a level 40 Warframe from like the Deviant Paradox. Imagine how cool that would be. Am I the only one that's thinking about this? Never thought about that. That'd be cool though, I think. But, uh, but everyone is just gonna like abandon all fame and go to the 41. Not necessarily. 
Not necessarily. Like, what's the difference between... Like, what is the difference between a, the level 41 and a level 31? Because think of it like this. What if that level 40 frame is a support frame? And you want to nuke the whole room. Seriously, we're a little bit off from level 30. I knew this game was going to screw me over. It's fine, we'll just do like a mission of... Oh, and speak about progress. There's a... Warframe Mobile. There's more news on Warframe Mobile. I don't know if anybody heard about that. But, um... There's a closed beta that's happening, so you have to be invited only to do so. Um, funny enough, I wasn't invited to do so, but even if I was, I don't have an iPhone. Yeah. It's only available on iOS. Which is weird. I have Android. Right? Don't you think it's a bit weird or kind of unfortunate? Maybe it will uh, like come out later. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just happy it's finally going to be a thing. Because I can't wait to go and kill Eidolons while I'm in the toilet. I can't wait for that. <laughs> I yeah, kind of in classroom. Yeah, like imagine you go, you're busy taking the lures. You're busy taking lures and you're just in the toilet doing your business. Are you sure if it's slim while you're like, you know, busy with your business? You're doing your business in there. Cause I don't know about you, but that'll be fun. Because you know it's also expensive to maintain um, to maintain a game or an app on the um, app store than it is on the Android store. Did you know that? Yeah. Because with Android, you pay 25 US dollars one time. And what you do after that is... What you do after that is, is that you need to then, um, yeah, then you can make your game, you've got your account, and then start posting updates onto it. Now, with Apple, you pay 125 US dollars yearly. That's like five times the price, and it's a recurring price. And a lot of developers are hating on Apple because of how because of how expensive they are damn that was damage like remember there was that lawsuit with uh, Epic Games yeah then now there's a lawsuit with Twitter I don't know what okay the, the issue with Twitter and Apple I, don't, I think it's got more to do with like power because you know how Elon Musk is all about freedom of speech and all that and Apple doesn't seem to be too happy about that for what he's doing it's because Apple has so much of the market yeah that is very true that is very true, Robin. They do have much of the market. They're a very dominant market. Apple, like when it comes to the game development industry, um, the... I don't know how, how much of this is true, but apparently, if you want to make money through microtransactions, I've heard that Apple is the best platform to do so, mainly because of the fact it's a more secure platform from what I've heard. It's a more secure you can also sell stuff on the android app store but because it's apple they're a much bigger market you could say they've got a monopoly on the mobile app section it's insane though but i mean hey at the end of the day the way i see it if apple wants to take i don't see a much of a problem with like um 
Apple take me so much because you see, right, if you guys are a business and you want to put like a game on the App Store, as DE as DE is doing, don't be surprised that microtransactions will go up even on the even on PC, Xbox, and so everybody. Don't be surprised because Apple blame Apple for this because you see they take around a thirty percent cut if you start making past a certain amount of money, which DE will. Who's who isn't gonna go and play you know Warframe Mobile on the phone of all places? Like you can go and access your account in real time if you're like elsewhere in the world, which is so sick, very very sick. I can't wait until that comes out though. That's gonna be really cool. But think of it like this though, right? Don't be surprised at the price of Platinum Prime Access. Maybe even Tenogen might go up in price, even Tenogen. Because think of it like this though, right? It's gonna be pretty expensive. To go and maintain an app or maintain this game on the app store right because you know apple's expensive they take a massive cut remember you have to pay i don't know if the, the prices have probably definitely gone up because this is in 2017 the 125 us dollars yearly annually it's probably definitely gone up because of inflation and we're not even forgetting about the android section as well when both the android and the app store section has been sorted out you know, DE is probably going to be needing more resources, more developers to go work on the, you know, Android version. Like a separate team for the Android version, a separate team for the App Store version. And if that happens, that's good, but at the same time bad because as us as consumers, the prices are going to go up maybe because, you know, the expenses are going to go up. So, you know. But hey, who cares about Prime Access, really? Like, you can go and get yourself... The only time you should actually go and get yourself Prime Access, I feel, is if, you know, the Prime accessories. Because the Warframe itself, the Warframes and the weapons that come with that particular pack are all grindable. But, you know, if you guys have a gigantic wallet and don't really have time, then by all means, go buy Prime Access. Like me, if I was a millionaire, I'd go buy Prime Access, the full pack. You know, with all the boosters, the latest Prime, especially the Prime accessories. So, why not? But, you know, if I was being a bit smart, I'd probably just only go and buy the Prime accessories. Because, you know, you can't grind those Prime accessories. And it's also, it's also that exclusivity that you get. You know, who doesn't like exclusivity? Like, I quite like it. But that's what I'm thinking. I'm only speculating. You know, I'm only thinking from a business perspective of, like, what, what could happen for the future of Warframe. I mean, anything could happen. Remember when was this? I think it was 2019 or 2020, somewhere around there. Everyone was trying to go, all the major big players in the gaming industry was trying to go and buy Warframe. There were, even Sony wanted to go and buy Warframe. It was Sony, Tencent and somebody else that was going to go and buy Warframe. And then, you know, Microsoft, is, then there's this issue with Microsoft trying to go and buy Activision Blizzard. And now there's a big... See, anything can happen in the gaming industry. Anything. And right now, it's anybody's game. Anything can happen. And I mean, I wouldn't expect, you know, and I mean, cross-play and mobile and cross-save and all that. Okay, never mind cross-save. I mean, talking about the mobile section. Anything can happen, especially with Warframe Mobile. Like, Warframe Mobile is so big that it could, at the same time, good things can happen, but at the same time, bad things could always happen. Good and bad changes can always be a thing. And I always speculate that's going to be the increase in microtransactions because, you know, more expenses you know, in order for DE to go and make that money and Tencent to be happy with their investment, they always want a return back. But hey, that's what I speculate. Uh, I just can't wait to go and kill Eidolons while I'm, make, while I'm in the toilet. I can't wait to go and do that. Like, do my business, capturing the lures, chewing off a entire limb. That's going to be fun. And the best part is I have the phone to go and play it. I can't wait to go and show you guys. I'm going to be streaming. It'll be interesting to go and stream, actually. Like, imagine me sitting, you know, here's my phone. Imagine me sitting here doing this, 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 you know. You guys can see my screen, my face. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait for that. Okay, but now what else do we go and do? So, okay, we're going to go and play as Grendel because now I want to go and have, you know, decimate the enemy. So why not? You know what? We don't need we don't need to have Archon continuity, but I'm gonna put it on anyways because you know I want to be an Archon myself. You know, just because I've got the Archon mod, so why not? Hmm. How much of a difference does that duration make? Wait, hold on. So we've got 
43.5% versus 45 seconds. That's good. I want to be an Archon. Alright, so we've got our Sobek. We don't need a secondary. We don't, I don't think we need a secondary. We're gonna go and... Oh, before we go there, right. What is our... Nightwave challenges? Oh, yeah, I guess we should try and get the stuff. Okay, I'll do that another time. I'll do that next stream, another stream. I... Wanna go and get some Kuva. If you guys didn't know... Tation is selling Kuva and a free ribbon roll this week, so go and get it. Meditation. Fast travels. No, not the oh, they're Tation, yes. The enemy will control us. So, steel path. Okay, so what do we have here? Yeah, I'm gonna buy all this. There's 70,000 Kuva. Gonna grind for it more. You know what, right? I feel like DE. This is probably a sensitive topic, but you know, I don't really care. I feel like DE should go and remove Conclave. I know there are people out there that go and play it, but let's be reasonable. Maybe 0.01% of the game population plays Conclave. Listen, if you're watch if you're a subscriber or if you're watching the stream and you're a Conclave player, I'm not throwing hate towards you. I'm not. But let's be real here. Raids were removed. And there was a massive ton of people playing that. So, you know, using that logic. Why is Conclave in the game but Raids isn't? And then I feel like... I feel like Raids is a way to... I don't know. I just feel like Raids somehow interfere with DE's marketing or monetization strategy. So, I think that's probably why it was removed. Now, I can't blame them. Mainly because of the fact that it's a... You know, in order for a game to thrive and survive with all these nice updates and these cosmetics and skins, there has to be a team. And these people have to get paid. So... Yeah. Oh, we even got a nice one. Okay, so how long have we been streaming for? An hour. Okay, we're going to stay here for an hour, if not longer. I'm sending life support capsules your way. Let's see if I can beat my own personal bit. Come on, hurt me. Nom 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 nom. Look at that damage. Nom 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 nom. Look at that AOE. I don't even have to aim. Much legendary is this, though. Yeah, that's doing it. Okay. I've delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. I just love acid shells so much. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, 
If it isn't a toxic proc, it's either the initial blast. Just look at that damage. That's insane. Pablo is a god at making warping OP. At least the reworks are great. We know we need to rework Frost. I think Frost is an example of Legacy Warframe. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the Acolyte. Watch this, watch this. Watch this, I'm gonna decimate him. It's like two hits. I'm a ship. Look at that ticks. Dead. And then there's this dude, the guy who keeps on disarming me, it's really annoying. I remember when I was getting the gameplay, Grendel Hard Danger, what do you mean? I remember when I was getting the gameplay for that video that the other day, they, I was fighting little 300 enemies. And the most two enemies that were annoying me the most was those enemies that disarmed you. Those guys I absolutely hated. We got activated life support. Life support activated. See that, that's what I hate about these guys. So bloody annoying. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Very fast. Yeah, he's a very cool killer. Grendel's a very quick killer. Nom 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 The best part is when you find an enemy that's like Super annoying. You just suck them up. You just eat them. 
Like that dude right there. Keeps trying to jack my gun. Is there any downside to this build of mine? Oh no, I missed that. Grab that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too big of this tower set. Like the tower set area I was chilling at. Okay, this is much better. No, it's not much better. I'm too far away from the thingy. Let me deal with this acolyte first. Look at that, just quick, quick damage. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. I absolutely love Grendel because of this. Just look at that. All I have to do is spit back at them. And they dead groups of them. Was that an aimbot? Okay, let's see if we can go and get ourselves a much better spot. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Wait, why is it? Hey, this GPS is Hong Kong. Fake GPS, this. Tells me to go this direction, I go there, take me elsewhere. Let's even get close. Okay, this is the best spot, so I like this area. Okay, where are these enemies at? Come enemies, I don't have all day. Oh, come on, game. Hey, Schlotus. Hey, when she says that. Life support has been replenished. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? There are no enemies coming here. They are. There's more there. Okay, that's good. Nom 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 nom.
Another life support capsule is now available. Okay, we're making progress. Life support Come here, you. Come here and irritate me. Nom 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 nom. Get. Vengeance is so sweet. Cheers, leg legacy. Alright. Cheers, leg legacy. Legendary. Thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night, man. Yeah, Will do. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I see, yeah. Wait, that damage was not good. See, now he's trying to steal my weapon. Life support levels. Extraction is your best option. Hey, not winning over here. Struggling so much. 
Life support activated. Oh, could that to be this dude? It's not good. Now the bubble's like on me. Where is this life support you speak of, Lotus? Oh, I missed that. Oh, it had to be violence of all people. Oh, no. Not good.
Okay, this is dead. Stop jacking my gun. Hey, my head's itchy. Activate this life support so I can truly be comfortable. Life support activated. Oh, that's not good. Life support has been replenished. Ah, uh, now he's dead. Rollerballs. 
Who spawns them? I swear, Dio knows how to make annoying enemies. Like, when there's a new enemy that comes out, bet you they're going to be annoying to deal with. Oh boy. Oh, 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 I'm low in health. Oh, now we're getting drop rate. That's very good. Hey, is anybody still watching the stream? Let's take a look. Wow, four still watching. Hey, guys, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to try and beat my own personal record. And that's going to be level 300 enemies. I'm sure I must have gone further. I don't remember. It's been a very long time. Since I've attempted beating these guys. I'm sure you guys can tell now. Grendel's damage is, in, is very consistent. Wow. 
Nom 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 nom. Oh, it's misery. Oh no. Oh man, the fact they spawn in more. I dashed. Really, these acolytes are really annoying me with their stupid ragdoll physics. The fact that stays procs don't do, don't go to the shield. No, oh. Okay, one of them, both of them are down. Now, where's that other act light? I wish they could just mark it. Now, where is that other Maca light? Hey, and when she says that, it's not good. Life support activated. Oh, and he has to have his little cheap ability. I'm even going to operate for him. And he gets his shield back immediately. Okay, he's dead. Now let's activate the life support. Oh my word, that! I absolutely hate Shadows of Violence. It's already bad enough how strong those guys are. I just killed that many of them and still not a single one drop. Ridiculous. Come on, reload. Okay, the let the recovery begin. Fine, they must hurt me. Just gonna do this. Yeah, shut up, Lotus.
I just killed the acolytes. Another one just spawned. Now you must bring it on where you. This is not violence. Thank God it's not violence. Nom 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 Just die already man Nom 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 Wait, what's the time? I can't be here forever. Hold up. Just want to check the time real quick. Because my power is going to get cut. And you know what time. 10 o'clock. Right now, it's quarter to 8. Okay, so we've still got a bit of time. Another 2 hours and... I think I'll probably head off at like... 8, no, 9 o'clock. I just want to be past level 300 enemies. Oh, excuse me. Acolyte time.
God damn it, wrong button. It's fine. We still get a thumb buff. Nom 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 nom. Back my gun. No, you die. Guys, the shields. Why are you running, bro? Now, one point two million damage. Now take that violence. Take that ca ability cancelling ability of yours and shove it. You just got owned by toxin damage. And a thick archon. Come here, we'll take you.
200,000. Give me food. Man. That's gonna do anything for me. Ready for big damage? Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Just killing them like they're level ones. Oh no, I feel like you could call him an S tier Warframe at this point. I mean look at this. Scaling damage, very easy to implement. You can take out Acolytes very easily. That's assuming it isn't Shadows. You know, but I mean Shadows is even strong by himself. So I'm sure any Warframe would struggle with him. Yo, I hate myself with even Viral. Only one. There's like how many O's here? Oh come on, he did it again. There we go. What? How's my gut empty? I ate somebody. Oh, the first death of the stream. Oh my god, just die already. I'm not dying to you a second time. Now that acolyte really screwed things up. Like the Gunier got more aggressive. So I had to deal with both the Acolyte and the Grineer. That's all good. I mean, 51 minutes, Flawless not dying. But hey, we've only died like once. It's all good. Nom 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 nom. Again, jacking my gun. I found blasting them in the face with the shotgun helps a lot. Ooh, there's a lot of life support. I'll take that. Yes, please.
Nom 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 nom. To him. These Eximuses are the ones that always get me killed. So I'll be devouring nearby enemies. And I'll just do that stupid ability of this. Gonna get quite hungry. Half a million. Nom 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 nom. Time to eat. Let me go and activate this life support. Be a good idea. Spawn down there. Weird, but okay. Who is it? Angst. Look what our Tenno operative just found. They could not do this without you. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Not. I just wish I could fix that reload problem. Okay, they're level 212 now. Oh yeah, Baruch Prime is coming out on the 15th of December, I keep forgetting about that.
Extraction is ready. Life support activated. I like how he also sucks up any like extra loot that you can actually take. I like that a lot. Okay, we're about to hit the one hour mark. Okay, this is not violence. Oh man, seriously, what a coward! You just, you know, denying the inevitable torment. Nom 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 nom. How does that miss? Life support has been replenished. Okay, we've gone past the one hour mark officially. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to continue this. Not because I'm struggling or anything, but because load shedding. And you know, I kind of like to chill with my computer and just watch some anime. Let's just go take a look at the time real quick. What is it now? It is 11 minutes past. Okay, we'll stay here for another... At the 80 mark, we'll leave. And I think what I'll do tomorrow, because tomorrow is Saturday, I will play another... I'll do another stream tomorrow. When I've got plenty of time. What I'll do is, we'll continue with this. We'll continue with the one hour or endurance run tomorrow. So like I said, we'll play it for 20 minutes and tomorrow I'll continue. Because tomorrow I don't think there'll be... I'll start earlier, so I got plenty of time.
Come on, reload. Ah, from behind. No, if you're gonna fight me or take me down, make sure to be a man and do it from the back, from the front. Like I'm doing with you and your brethren. Jack my gun. That's cool. Ooh, that's not good. That ain't good at all. I'm just gonna have to wait this out. Come on, Malice. Don't deny the inevitable. You're, you're destined to lose. I'm destined to win. I mean, just look at that de decimation. Nom 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 nom. You know, watching Grendel eat food is making me hungry as well. Oh boy. Whatever shall I do? I know, I'll spit on your face. That's not good, I'm gonna die. See, you almost got me again. Tricky little dude.
die already. It's raining life support. I had to send two of these exorcists on me. Oh, what? Okay, I'm gonna extract. I'm getting hungry now. Welp. Hey, 69. Yeah, we'll chill for like another 10 seconds. Actually, you know what? We'll kill the last Acolyte. As long as it's not Shadows of whatever his name is. The one that spawns the other Acolyte. Hey man, you worrying about life support every two seconds. Life support activated. Oh my god. Seventy. So where's this acolyte? When's it gonna spawn? Oh, I don't have enough energy, that's why. Some. Oh, there, thanks for coming to me. I really appreciate it. You're not gonna dodge that. Let's put it Alright, let's do this. Oh, we're gonna make it just another nine more minutes. Dying sucks, but oh well. Can I not shoot? Yeah, you keep quiet. Life support has been replenished. Ooh, look at that clutch. Another life support capsule is now available.
Actually, I'll take you guys up. Give you guys a benefit of being in my gut. Now you guys are in trouble. Where is this thing landing? I swear, sometimes this thing doesn't land in the right areas. But I target somewhere completely different. Why misery, you annoying entity? Nom 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 nom. Join your fallen brothers soon, all of you. Never thought I'd see so much life support. Actually, let's go get all of that. Don't want to lie, Lauren. There, it's a lot. Look at that. It's like five pieces. It's a lot. That. That was annoying. Now you're gonna pay for it with your life. Nearly there. We're almost there. Come on, we're almost there. There's less than two minutes. I think Rolling God would definitely be a good build.
Oh, come on. That guy. Okay, you know what? Less than 30 seconds and we're basically struggling to even... Oh, well. I'm gonna extract. Life support has been replenished. I'm gonna try and extract for the Acolyte spawns. Otherwise, he's gonna really mess things up. Okay, we'll wait. Come on. 59. There, officially 80 minutes. We've killed, wait, 54. 5,499 kills. I want to just get one more kill. Okay, there we go. We killed three, but... Oh! Man, my arm is killing me. Very good, 80 minutes impressive. Oh yeah, no, listen, I could have gone further, but there's two problems. I am myself, I'm getting hungry. Watching Grendel kill and eat these enemies is making me hungrier. And of course, I'm going to be, my power is going to go out in the next hour and a half. So, and I'd rather spend, you know, eating food, watching some anime. So, yeah. So there are the stats. Okay, let's go over the stats. So I've got 5,502 kills. Okay, the last two kills. We got quite a bit of things actually. Like I said, tomorrow I'll probably go. Tomorrow I'll do a longer stream or longer survival, just because you know I'm shortened on time with 32 steel essence. I'm gonna go and buy myself some Okuva. We're gonna roll some ribbons and we're gonna end the stream right there. Oh, how many people are watching though? Five though. Oh, sick. Okay, no complaints. Got a fast travel detection. Why are we gonna walk there if we've got the fast travel option? All right, so. But you see though that build though that's that build I have for Grendel is an absolute demon. Cause what else would I need? I mean, I'm not gonna spend it on former. Why? Why am I gonna spend it on former? Okay, so we've got around ninety thousand. Excuse me, we've got ninety thousand Kuva. We're then going to go and extract. Pre-purchase crime by Queen City and PUBG is free to play. Okay. Alright, let's go roll some ribbons. What should we go and roll? Let us see. Okay, we're not going to roll the Sobek ribbon because I'm quite happy with what we have. What should we roll though? We are the now Riven. Mm, but the, nah, we got a good now Riven. Tell you guys what. Whatever the hell the Nephrim. What is, what is a Nephira Riven? I think it's a. Got a Sonic Core, we've got a Tombo, we've got. Zar. Ooh, a Zar Riven would be great, actually. Nine rolls. Oh, we've got two Zar Rivens. I think a crit based one would be great. We've got damage and critical damage here with negative stage chance. Screw it. I think we're going to... Do we not have a... I'm sure we had a... What was the name of that gun? The Plinks. Ah, uh, we had a Plinks ribbon. And just as they release a tenant version, I get trolled. Okay, we do... I wish we had an Act Magnus Prime. I really wish we did. Because look at that, 200% critical chance with a multi-shot. Who cares about status? We'll knock. You know what, we're going to roll the Zar Riven, I'm thinking. Or the Nell. Yeah, okay, we've got a 2 rand coin here. Okay, we're going to roll. Heads is going to be the Nell Riven. And Tails is going to be the Zar Riven. So let's do this. Okay, so, hold on. So, Heads, Nell, Bottom, Zar. Oh, come on, I cannot flip this thing. No, man. Hold on. Let's really focus here. Okay, we've got hits, so we're going to roll the Nell. Even though the Nell, we've got a very powerful one already. You know what, right? I kind of want to roll the Zar Riven. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Disposition on... But you know what, Faith? 
I mean, look at that. We've already got a ton of... Uh... Oh, wait, no, wait. I want to check something else, actually. You know what? Let's roll the Zar Riven. Screw it. The Zar was nerfed. Well... Oh. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Now it is. Because I just realized one thing. I hate the randoms. I hate the Archon hunting community. They don't know what they're doing, so I'm always have to rely on myself. So I mean, why not just have something? Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> not a very good start. Native critical chance. Not a very good start. Not a very good start at all. Critical damage multi shot with more impact. Nah. If only that was crit chance. If only that impact was crit chance, I would have taken it. I really would have taken it. Like, it would have been amazing. Like, crit chance, crit damage, or crit chance of damage with a harmful negative. Or harmless negative, my bad. Minus multi shot. Nah, you're crazy, man. Crazy. Ah, uh, come on, man. Trolling me. DE's just trolling me with this. Fire rate, damage, there's chance. Seriously, look at that troll. How? Crit chance, multi-shot, minus damage. You have to be kidding me. Crit chance, multi-shot, minus damage. What kind of sick joke is this? You seriously telling me? This would have been a god riven. Come on, DE. Come on. Let me get this nice one. Just give me that nice roll. You just... I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get. Okay, one more roll. One more roll. If it's not a godly Riven roll or something better than this, then I'm not rolling this the Riven. Yep. Nope, I'm not rolling that. No, 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 no. That's already DE. That's already me, like, jinxing myself. Stage chance. We'll roll this one. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so Zor is a... As far as I know, the critical chance is what we want to get. I think. A crit pull apparently is very good for this. I don't exactly know, but stage chance, multi-shot... I don't exactly know. So as far as I know, crit chance on a Zor is not... Imagine you can get like blast radius <laughs> on a riven. Imagine. The big thin Zar Rivens would be expensive. Multi shot impact. We've got nothing very good. So we get crit damage and corrosive. 
Come on. Make this a good night for Rivens. So that's probably what we're going to be rolling around with. Just want to check. Do we have any pistol ribbons? No, we don't. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's. Got a Sakaris one though. I got two Sakaris ribbons. I didn't actually realize that. Okay, I think I can sell this for a good amount of platinum. Take a look at it later. All right, so. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a ridiculously long stream. I don't mind it. We've been streaming for around two and a half hours. So, you know, a like would be appreciated or highly appreciated on the stream. So, you know, it does help me out substantially. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and some more Warframe streams. We are going to then go and stream tomorrow. It's going to be nice and early. Therefore, we can go and last even longer on the stream. Of course, I will be doing some backgrounding for Zaku because then you know you guys want to then go and you guys want me to then go make a build for Zaku ask you and you shall go and receive of course I will then be doing some research do leave a like on the stream it does help a lot I think I'm sure I've said that already spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos and streams ladies and gentlemen we also do have a discord server so if you guys like to go and you know interact with me outside of YouTube or doing any one of my live streams just like how we currently are doing Go and join the Discord server. This is the place to go and be. There will be a link in the description once the server has been ended. Oh, hey, Kitten. Chanel, you actually came in quite late, hey? I'm about to end the stream, but what's up? Thank you so much for coming on to the stream. I do highly appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next Warframe video. I'm out. Peace. Or stream even.